to the 36 by Beck. Right sideline at the 50. He could go to the 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Diving toward the pylon, but out of bounds at the half yard line. Travis Beck, the true freshman linebacker, with a huge play in this FCS National Championship game. My, oh my. That was the most emphatic my, oh my, I think, of a Saturday's championship game that North Dakota State won over Sam Houston State. And I'm just going to get right to it because we've been talking with this guy off air as we came into the studio today for the Mike McFeely Show. Uh, The subject of that call, the hero of Saturday's championship game, the MVP of Saturday's championship game, is with us in studio right now. He is Travis Beck. He is from Munich, North Dakota, which is in the northeastern part of the state, 40 miles north of Devil's Lake. Travis, first of all, congratulations on a national championship. Congratulations on a great game, and uh, welcome to the Mike McFeely Show. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Well, I'm glad we got that cleared up. Munich (laughs) is north, northeast. (laughs) I thought Munich was west a little bit, right. but for some reason I thought it's it was. It's tough keeping all these small towns It is, it is. Together, but. Talk about the last, well, first of all, just tell us basically what it feels like to win a national championship. I mean, you're playing for North Dakota State and you're a national champion. Talk about that. It feels pretty crazy. It still hasn't set in. Um, it's uh, it's pretty fun, though. I mean, going to have a couple, fun couple of weeks here. In the last couple of days, I presume have been a whirlwind for you because you got you won the game on Saturday, you got back on Saturday night, and since then you've been probably running all over the place, right? Ah, uh, yeah, a little <laughs> bit like that. The last it's been a rough, rough couple of days here, but it's uh, I'm enjoying it. Good, good, good. Talk about the interception. I mean, that obviously uh, you're only a freshman. Right. Uh, nothing like that you've experienced before in your life, and to ha- have that opportunity must have been pretty darn exciting. It was. I mean, he threw it kind of directly at me. Yes, I'm not he did. Sure what he was. Maybe it was a bad throw. We were in man coverage. I mean, disguising man coverage. So maybe he thought I wasn't looking, but picked it off. Had a couple huge blocks by Christian Dudzik and Levon Perry. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And just uh, you saw the rest. D- should the ref have given you a touchdown? Now, we right, talked about this off right. the air, and, and I was sitting at the game in the press box watching. And I saw you leap from about the five yard line. And you ended up, I mean, you did come up short about a half yard according to the replays, but I thought the guy could have given you a touchdown and maybe, <laughs> maybe they would have given it to you on the replay. Yeah, that would, uh, maybe I should have threw my hands up or something. Maybe he should have <laughs> influenced them a little bit, but you know, the offense came in and they, uh, they finished it off. I should throw this out there because there's a couple phone calls coming in right now for Travis. If you do want to get on with Travis Beck and talk to him, congratulate him, asking questions about the championship game, he would be happy to talk with you, Bison fans. 237-5948-800-880-5346. Studio at kfgo.com is our email. If somebody wants to send us some emails, I can certainly pass along your question or comment to Travis. Wrap up the season for us. I mean, obviously, it's your first year being on the field for NDSU. Talk about the fact that it's that you're you, you lost one game and won a national championship. A great season, great season. It all started with last year's playoff run, really, with that group of seniors and what they did, and and we just uh, we knew the formula to win, and we we worked hard in the off season, winter workouts, and the summer, and really our coaching staff too. They put in so many so many hours, and this playoff run put together some great schemes and just an unbelievable season. Is it true now, because I've heard everybody say that, that it all started last year. You right. beat, uh, you won a couple playoff games last year. You ended up losing to Eastern Washington on a game, really, I thought a couple of calls could have won NDSU's way in that game yeah. and got you to the to the semifinals. But is it true that it, that it did start with that game? Because I've heard so many people say that, that it's, it's it become, yeah. in, in what way, how? I mean, how did that spark you? Well, Eastern Washington ended up winning it last year, and we were – Margin for, I mean, we came close to beating them, and we just knew we could win, and just that loss was kind of, kind of motivated us all off season really, and I mean, the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> as they say, yeah. <laughs> Two three seven five right. nine four eight eight hundred eight eight zero five three four six. Let's take a phone call. Jeff in Hatton, North Dakota, wants to talk with Travis Beck. Uh, Go ahead, Jeff. Hi. Mike, hi Travis, hey, congratulations, what a game. Hey, thank you, thank you. Uh, that interception, how does that, well, I'm sure it compares a lot better. I got to witness your uh, moonshot home run in the 2009 state baseball tournament. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that's not anything close to what you accomplished on Saturday, but uh, they got to be kind of similar. Yeah, the different results, I guess, but I'll hang up and listen. Thanks a lot, and hey, congratulations. Thanks, Jeff. 
Oh, well, I don't know if they're comparable. I'd say I'd put the interception above that. I'm, I'm trying to even remember that that home run, but that's pretty cool that he remembers that. And, yeah, the interception, it was it was pretty fun. And just this, that whole game was unbelievable, really. The, our our players played great, and our coaches did just uh, prepared, got us prepared, and it was uh Pretty fun. Well, the, the defense was just completely dominant. I mean, yeah. obviously, throughout the season, if you yeah. followed NDSU like so many Bison fans did, you saw the talent and the skill that the defense had. You were number one going into the game and scoring defense. People saw the way you played against Lehigh and against Georgia Southern. But to watch that game on Saturday, it was – I don't know if you can grade how good you were. Was it the best defensive performance of the season for NDSU's defense, or where did it rank, Travis? Because I'd say, I mean, yeah. it was unbelievable. Yeah, it was in the biggest game. I mean, our defense came up huge, and offense did well too. I mean, our our coaching staff put in so much time, and we had so long to prepare for this team, and just great. I mean, that Georgia Southern game was great too, and all the playoff games were amazing for us. But you guys, you guys yeah. stopped him, I think, three times on fourth and yeah, one, and the, the one time was like fourth it? and two inches, and you were able to come up with a stop defensively. I mean, that's just being on the field at that point. You had to say, "Goodness gracious." We own these guys. We own them right now. It's kind of. <laughs> our our D-line came up huge. Yes, they, they had did. some big tackles. We had the right play calls in those situations, and I think there's a little bit of luck that goes involved with uh, with some of those. Don't, don't say that. Don't never say there's luck. Just always <laughs> say you're that good, okay? Just there's never luck involved. We are that us. good. I guess. Thank you very much. 237-5948-800-880-5346. Got another couple phone calls coming in. We're going to take a quick pause in the Mike McFeely Show. Travis Beck. I don't know how long he has for him. We're going to keep him for one more segment for sure. If you want to talk to Travis, ask him a question about the championship game, here's your chance to talk to the hero. He is the man, along with Matt Voigtlander and yeah. DJ McNorton and a, lot of, and a lot of other players for North Dakota State. Yeah. Travis Beck in studio here on the Mighty 790 KFGO.